Hey, now how's it going? Yeah, this article comes from Paul um, Tassi, who pretty much comes out and says that he thinks that Microsoft was right, that video games discs are stupid. And I kind of have to think about that for a small little bit, and I'm like, hmm, I'm getting to that, I'm getting to that age to where I don't really go to gaming stores anymore. I don't, I don't really go there to buy physical discs anymore. I don't really go there to buy really even accessories anymore. I don't really go to GameStop anymore. I mean, like, I used to do that when I was younger. I used to go there, I used to buy games, I used to buy controllers, I used to trade in games and stuff like that, which is something that I don't really, something that I have that I haven't done in like a long while. I haven't returned a game in like years. So, pretty much I think about it and I'm like, well now, well now, how in the world do I feel about this? And of course, I have been downloading games for a good while now. Uh, of course, you see me with the pirate, uh, pirate, pirate warriors things in the back. A game which I believe that you can only get downloaded. Um, uh, you can only get di uh, digitally in America. So I do kind of think about that. I'm like, hmm. I am sort of slowly starting, starting, starting to like that a little bit more than more than actually getting physical copies. But pretty much, let me jump into this whole thing of saying, okay, where did Microsoft stand when they? Kind of made their talks like back in 2013 and I honestly slowly starting to see people kind of realize what they were talking about of saying that you probably don't really need to have a physical copy you just need a download thing but then again their their practices back in those days were a lot like how the Final Fantasy 14 a realm uh, a realm reborn disc is for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 to where that if you just buy the disc you just buy the install and then once you have the install you give the disc to somebody else you just give them the install it's not necessarily like that you have the game on the disc and of course we all know how microsoft pretty much sort of like sort of like burned them real 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 bad with that of them just saying here's how you share games on uh up, up on playstation 4 just hand the game to somebody else you know they really did did burn them with that but then you go back and you think about it and it's like well yeah this they do kind of have their points and they do have uh, and they do have their reasons for 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 existing especially since this this and also cartridges started started coming into play when it was supposed to be okay we don't have to install a game the game is just 100% complete soon as soon as you get it and and this is slowly starting starting to turn into a problem in terms of our era in terms of at least, like, it's slowly starting to look like a, pro a problem of the era and not necessarily the product. Because, it's like, discs in games, they, they do have their purpose if you have a full game. I mean, like, if Mortal Kombat XL... I mean, like, if Mortal Kombat 10 was just a download, and then they made a physical copy of saying, okay, we are, we are, going, we are, we are going to release phys physical copies of Mortal Kombat XL, the full game, you can have it on, on discs, then I kind of understand it. However, if it's a downloadable thing, which that in which that you have to go through, you download, uh, you're downloading characters, you're downloading all the, uh, all the stuff. Yeah, then that's kind of a problem. I mean, re I mean, like Capcom understood this with the whole Resident Evil Rev Revelations 2, where that they just released everything on a disc of saying you don't you don't you you you, uh, you don't have to jump through all of these hoops. Here is our full game. Enjoy it. Have that disc. But then another question actually kind of pops up as well of saying that even if you have the disc, how is that really going to affect you like years and years and years if that game's like a like an online only game, you know, sort of like Star Wars Battlefront, something which is run by its multiplayer. It doesn't have a single player mode and if there's no online, there is no server, then the game really doesn't really have a purpose to exist on disc. Then you kind of ask, uh, ask the question of, where where is our era going? Because still, I do kind of understand stand that a game being um, uh, all discs going away, you still kind of have a few problems to worry about. Namely, if if like the game you downloaded is that still going to be up on the store? Like pricing in terms of accessibility, in terms of pretty much like how many updates are they going to really give this game before like that they actually consider it to be a really worth worthwhile game and these problems they are they are slowly kind of moving their way onto the actual physical disc market but like as the eras go on you slowly start to see that you actually slowly start to see that the only real reason why you even keep your games on a disc anymore 
is to get it cheaper from Amazon or try and get it cheaper upon Steam, which that's still kind of worrying me and that's still honestly the only real thing that I can't really recommend for a digital only market of saying, I can't really trust the whole thing of saying just, 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 just giving Sony or giving Microsoft its own full complete store in which that they can control everything on. The reason why Steam is as good as it is is because it has competition. Now, now I'm a, now you don't really hear about this competition all that much, but still, Origin is still competition to Steam. So pretty much you do have a alternative. If Xbox was only online, really you don't really they don't have a competition there because you can't I mean like uh, I mean like you have your console of choice but once you're on that console of choice pretty much you are left up to their mercy to, to pretty much dish out deals whenever they feel like it I mean sure Steam does that as well but after like a while Steam actually gives some some of its games massive discounts so you do kind of have like a backwards there so yeah I do still see the use of the usage of this in terms of discounts in terms of returning and all this other stuff and the digital market, it, it has done things to where that it tried to cater to that, but still you look at it and it's like, well, I still have my worries of it's of of it being download only. I still download games, but you know, I still uh, actually go out and buy physical discs of um, uh, of games when I need to. So you know, I'll catch you next time on the next John Grave Show. Please tell me what do you think about about this topic down there in the comment section. Catch you on the next John Grave Show. Please keep watching anime. Keep internet thank you for watching that video if you, uh, if you like what I'm doing on here please please show me a show me a little bit of uh, my support like my video go ahead and um, uh, subscribe and share this video with some of your friends also if you, uh, also if you, uh, you want to check out my uh, latest latest video check uh, say so click the link right over there and send you to my latest video or at least one of my other videos talking about another topic also f also for my reading friends out there check this book out right here it's, it's called <laughs> it's called Ibarra. It's by my friend Deshaun R. Smith. And honestly, yes, I know that this thing, man, is pretty much a fucking Bible. But hey, but hey, it has a lot of love, care, and a whole bunch of like enthusiastic shit in here. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. I'll see you next time. I'm.